I actually didn't find anything at Adamstown Antique Mall. Uh, I've just been bopping around today trying to get in as many places as possible. So next I'm up at the Mad Hatter. I am still looking for stuff for my whatnot sale and of course stuff for my Etsy. What is this frog box? 1978 Japan. It's only the 10% though. It's a little more than I'd like to spend for that. I have this really bad feeling that this is the same vendor down the street at Pine Hills that I always leave with something ridiculous for myself. Um, okay, well, first of all, I know somebody who would freak out over that. They've probably already seen it though. Um, there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> okay, so it's not the vendor I thought it was good because um, I'm gonna go to Pine Hills next and I'm really hoping I don't leave with something crazy. Last time I left with a really epic basketball lamp. I really like this tray though. Um, it's a little bit more than I'd like to spend. Okay, this is, um, this is good. This is not what I thought it was. This boot is more my style. This is really cool, this elephant. It's a cigarette holder, I guess, right? Yeah, matchstick holder, I mean. Let's see, glass basket. I'm not buying any more glass baskets, but I do have to know, 35, that's not that crazy. I love the blue opalescent. Um, this has lots of little epic goodies in it, but I'm trying to stay away from cases unless it's like absolutely necessary. Let's go in. Hmm, here's another. Uh, I'm not crazy about that pattern, and it's also as is. It's very broken. Ooh, 38 though, and that's very pretty, but $20. I can't do much with that. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff packed in here. That's that's the way I like my boost. <laughs> kind of crazy packed. <laughs> Makes your eyes focus. And hobbyist poodle. Mm. Alright, nothing. Let's keep going. Well, I've already kind of geeked out over these. I don't remember it being $40 for the pair though. Um, that's actually not bad. I'm a little surprised they're still there. This pink bunny box, though, that's what I was really looking at. And of course, I can't see the price. I think it's very expensive. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go with very, very expensive on the bunny box. Um, the chick head vases, though, $40 for the pair. So, let's see, that's 20 18 each with a discount. It's not that bad, actually. They're pretty epic. I wouldn't want to split them up, though, and that's really the only way I'd be able to make money is if I split them up. Wow, look at all this. Well, <laughs> this is where I really belong, the $5 booth, where everything's $5. Let's see, this one has a pretty major chip. What about this one? We can't argue with $5, especially with that $5 whatnot sale coming up. Now, I will say it would have to sell for at least like $7 to be profitable, but I feel like I can find things that are safe bets. What about this face? What's wrong with it? Why is it only $5? It's missing some of its graphic still. <clears throat> What's happening here though? Oh, it's broken. I was gonna say that's very cool. Well, I was curious what this was, and uh, it's a vintage pencil sharpener, which is pretty epic. I've never seen one with the cat, but $10 is definitely too much for me to do anything with it. Still felt noteworthy. Ooh, and this is really pretty. $10? I feel like that's cheap. Is there something I don't know? Hmm. I'm a little thrown off by that. I think it's really pretty. Holt Howard, that Santa Claus fit, uh, dish is a really good deal for a collector. Um, I'm seeing a lot of stuff in here. It's just like all a little too close for me to get excited about. Hmm. 
Again, a lot of really epic sets of cats, but all too close for me to do anything with it. It's like right below what I'd sell it for. Oh man, so much Josef Originals ones too. I'm obsessed with that mohair rabbit up there. Unfortunately, he's $95, so, so it's not for me, but epic nonetheless. Well, again, I'm caught by the costume jewelry. I really like this necklace. 25. I'd be so afraid that would break. I can see how like frail that string is underneath it though. I kinda like this. Japan, huh? $8 though, that's definitely more than I'd wanna spend on that. What is that hiding down there? <laughs> it's glass. It's kinda neat. And it's four dollars huh kind of want to put that in my five no it's chip that's why all right that makes more sense it's got a little nick i'm trying to stay away from anything with damage speaking of trying to stay away from <laughs> i need to stay away from all of this because i don't need it wow look at that face okay and the chair oh my gosh i have to stop this is where I'm heading to next. This is enough of a danger zone for me. I don't need any more help. Ooh, but napkin holders. Wait, I don't think there's a price. What about, okay. Well, that was really anticlimactic. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that <laughs> clown boy head. That is really crazy looking. Ah, there's my ponytail pen pal, 59. Yeah, she's fantastic. I did look that up on eBay because I kind of wanted one and I found one there cheaper. Um, this is very fantastic. That's a really good price too. I really wish I hadn't seen that. I love old religious stuff and I definitely don't need it. Um, it's kind of one of those things I have a weakness for and buy for myself. Oh my gosh, please be cheap-ish, cheap-ish. 28 dang that's epic though oh, 28 i wonder if i could still make money off that i think i could honestly um i've never seen one quite like it i'm gonna look it up just in case oh i'm really tempted but i just think it's a little too much to spend so i'm gonna move on as painful as it is so it might have been a double strikeout, but that's okay. I'm off to Pine Hills next. I'll see you guys when I get there. This is my last stop in Adamstown. I've been at it all day. I've been super thrifty. I'm looking for items from my Etsy, which should be super kitschy and super unique. And I'm also looking for items for my whatnot, which should be super good buys. So this is the booth I was talking about. Um, I always find good stuff in here. I don't know. I really love these chalkware wall plaques, but of course I can't see how much they are. Now, the good news is I don't see a lamp that I need for myself. I know I still am so in love. Oh, I'm still so in love. I don't need it though. Um, all right, let me think, what am I doing? I'm looking for stuff for my Etsy and from my whatnot sales. There's a lot going on right here. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything that flips the bill. It's all stuff that I like for myself and that's not my purpose here today. Oh, but look at this. This is so cute. Oh, $42 dang. Well, I was kind of starting to just goof off cause I wasn't finding anything. $35. I am gonna look that up cause something tells me that might be worth more than that. I've never seen that version. That's amazing. So as much as I hate eBay, I think that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna list it on auction as e on eBay. I've never seen this one. There's only one even similar online that I saw and this one's in pristine condition. It's $35 and 10% off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. These are really pretty too and they're only $9.50. It seems like a really good price. Man, I'm kind of jazzed up about that Norcrest rabbit. I'm not gonna lie. I have a feeling that might go for a pretty penny, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna start the auction like 40 some, 49, probably 50. Oh, that's 
it's really pretty. All right, let me not get distracted. I killed a lot of time staring at that Norcrest. <laughs> you know it's something if I'm paying 30 some dollars for it. Oh, but look, a Valentine's Day planter. This one's probably pricey. $50, yeah, can't do that. Yo, what? Oh my gosh. Even with the damage, that is amazing. All right, well, I always find really great stuff in this booth, so I'm just gonna start over here and work my way over. Uh, this is really pretty. I love that shade of yellow, $9.50. It's a little bit more than I'd like to spend on it, even though it's really fair. I'm such a cheapo. Let's see, salt and peppers. Ooh, these ones are awesome, and they're in the original. 14. You know, I've had this set a few times. I've actually even had them in the original packaging like that. And they didn't sell for a crazy amount, so I don't really want to spend 15 on them. Or 14, I should say. I see a few things in here. Um, The little blue bunny set. It's right about retail, though. And the chenille chicks. I already got some. Now, the Japan fuzzy bunnies. Is that for both of them? 24? Because that's actually... Those are Norcrest and those are really hard to find. I could make money off that for sure. I love that uh, pink mouse. The fun, the fuzzy uh, Norcrest rat. Oh, wait, snap this snail. $20, one in 10, I'm missing. You know, those don't sell for as much as they used to. And I actually bought that set not that long ago. I still have it. I thought it was super unique. So I did end up grabbing the uh, Norcrest rabbits. This is incredible. What is happening here? Hear no evil. I really like that. Random Holt Howard. Oh, I can already see the beaks repaired. Never mind. The the chicken rooster, whatever. It really doesn't sell that well for me in the first place. So I'm definitely not going to pick up one repaired. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at that. I've had it so many times. Oh my gosh. Look at these, how fantastic. $14 though. I don't think I can get as much as I want out of that. Um, this is nice, but yeah, I'm splurging a little. I said I wasn't going to, and I ended up splurging, but it was well worth it because it's Norcrest Easter. I love that Valentine's Day plant here. How much is that? It's probably a small fortune. I had to take a little break. I was starting to lose some oomph, but I'm back. Uh, Knickerbocker, cute, but oh my gosh, look at this guy. He is fantastic. $18, that's a little too much for me though. Although, let's see, he would be minus 10%, so oh, it's hard to say no to that. He's so fantastic. Let's see what else they got. Oh, but I'm just now noticing these planters. Yeah, let's take a look at this planter. No, this one's a hobbyist, but it's kind of fun that it's a duck, $7. Um, people ask all the time how I can tell if it's a hobbyist. Honestly, I don't know how to tell you, uh, but it is like a handmade pottery, I can tell. Um, it's not by manufacturer, especially by the bottom. Um, like see, this one has a very distinct face and it also has a different style behind, we'll call it. And it also has, of course, it's number stamp, even though not all of them do. Um, oh, I'm having a hard time getting rid of that, walking away from that, uh, knee hugger bunny thing, like all over the place. You know what? I was about to walk away and then I thought to myself, I'm crazy because these have been getting harder and harder to find. I've never even seen this exact one. They've been going for insane amounts of money and, um, I think I could easily double my money on them. So I'm going to grab it. So I ended up getting some really great rabbits in there. Uh, I spent $65, I got a couple extra discounts, and now I'm gonna get lunch, I'm gonna hop in the car, and I will see you guys when I get to Burning Bridge.